welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a first impressions video on the newest, well this isn't even the newest palette anymore, one of the newest ColourPop palettes. This is the Orange You Glad palette by ColourPop. They did another multi-chrome palette and this one is orange themed. So yeah, I created this look with this palette so I'm going to show you that next but I want to swatch this for you guys real quick so you guys can see the swatches. I pretty much used every shade in the palette which is exciting because I don't usually do that so um, yeah <laughs> and I don't know did I need this palette probably not <laughs> and I bought it anyway because we can't stop collecting ColourPop so here are the first five shades. I got Zested, Squeeze Me, Creamsicle, Rise and Grind, and Sunkissed. Sunkissed is like a really pretty orangey peachy shade. I hope you can still kind of see that. It almost feels like a pigment. Like it's swatched like a pigment. Let me see if I can build it up a little bit for you guys. Here it is on my finger. There it is. Do you see that? Very pretty. Okay, and then I just have two shades that are matte. Here they are. We got Mimosa Miami and Ye Peel Me. <laughs> so there's those. And then there is a Press Glitter. Oh god. Here it is. You can kind of see it. Let me see if I can swatch it. Ooh, it's actually really pretty. I do have it on my inner corner. But you can see like it's like a dual chrome orange glitter shade so that's kind of nice here it is on my finger so those are all the swatches of the orange you glad palette and i'm going to get into how i created this look okay i got a little carried away on the blush situation. I started off with the Fumi blush and then I remembered I really wanted to use Melt Genesis for this look. But uh, yeah, I ended up looking like clown makeup and that's okay. <laughs> so today I have some stuff I picked up from ColourPop. I'm going to show you those later. I did pick up the Orange You Glad palette and I haven't played with this yet so I thought I'd do a little first impressions video on this. Citrus is like all the rage these days and of course I did pick up the little brush set as well because I actually really like the ColourPop brushes and I hate cleaning brushes so when I have the opportunity to score like five brushes for 20 bucks I'm all about that life so yeah I'm really really excited I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna use these brushes and then I picked up some of the new Sigma blending brushes so I have those as well and then the foundation I have on today is one I've wanted to try for a while I found this in my Ulta store this is the Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation lasts up to 24 hours mattifying second skin effect and I believe Andrea Matigliano raves about this foundation is how I heard about it so I'm interested to see if it lives up to the hype so I bought some Sigma brushes because I'm trying to invest in nice brushes. I have the Wayne Goss eyeshadow brush set and the Sonia G eyeshadow brush set and I really like those. So I thought I'd try some of the Sigma brushes because those are kind of another raved about brand. So I thought, sure, let me try it. So actually I'm going to go into, let me grab this ColourPop brush. This is a ColourPop E4. It's like a flat packer brush. And I'm just going to go into the shade Zest and just highlight my brow with it. I need to get my brows done so badly, but uh, it's probably not going to happen for a while. So I'm just going to wait. And I had talked about this on my Instagram, but if you guys are waiting for me to do a review on the Pat McGrath foundation you know just keep waiting because nobody's gotten their orders yet well that's not true I think some people have and some people haven't my friend Kat is still waiting for it I know Mel Thompson mentioned she's still waiting for her order I've emailed their customer service a few times just to find out what's going on because they offered a two-day air shipping option when the foundation launched 
And uh, basically, they're just refunding people the two-day air because the foundation launched over a week ago. Um, and the reason you pay extra for shipping is so you can get it quicker. And I didn't even want to get it fast just to have it for review because I knew it wasn't. I wasn't going to be the first review. I paid expedited shipping because I've had bad service from them before where my orders have gotten delayed. I remember when they first launched my eyeshadow palettes, I don't know what happened to them and it just took so long. So like because I've had bad experiences with them previously, I paid for expedited thinking that they would ship the expedited, you know, system because I paid like $250 for the two brushes, the powder, the primer, and the foundation, I thought it would come sooner than this. So I'm a little bit kind of annoyed because it was a lot of money. Like if I had paid $50 and I was expecting some kind of royal treatment, it would be different. But it's like when you have like a higher end brand and you can't support the level of service people expect, it's not so great so anyway sorry I'm going on a tangent so I'm gonna grab this Sigma E44 and go into this light shade creamsicle again or no creamsicle and I'm just gonna start off I'll just add you know as many colors as I can there's a fluff on my I'm just blending this into the crease Ooh, it's actually showing up that's kind of shocking <laughs> considering it's like a really light peachy shade this brush is so soft oh my goodness so Colourpop's like on a non-stop mission I think to make sure we're all broke by the end of the year and they already launched a new nine pan eyeshadow palette since they launched the orange palette um, I think it's called like the milkshake palette or something like that it's like a strawberry milkshake theme and it's actually really cute like I low-key wanted to buy it I played the game where I like added it to my car took it out of my cart and then the other thing I really want from that collection is actually the lip glosses okay now I'm gonna go into rise and grind which is the next orange shade it's a little bit darker so yeah, I really wanted the lip glosses from that collection because they just look so summery. And I just love how vibrant they look. But I decided to just wait before I buy more makeup. I have a list of eyeshadow palettes that I purchased that still haven't even like been in one video on my channel. So I'm like, Karen, no. Like, absolutely not. I do have my eye on the... Jackie Ina ABH palette like I just can't say no to ABH palettes so I think I'll pick that one up I think I'm gonna plan on waiting for it to come to like Macy's or Sephora or something just because I don't want to get it on Anastasia's website okay now I'm gonna go into Sunkiss which is like a beautiful neon shade I'm just blending all these shadows in into the crease I am just having fun blending today with these new Sigma brushes. Lots of people actually picked this set up. I saw when I posted it on my Instagram stories, a lot of my YouTube friends said they had bought this set as well. So I think people like to invest in good quality brushes. Okay, so, so far so good. Now I'm going to go into the next matte, which is called Mimosa Miami. Beautiful coral shade. And I'm just going to plop that in the crease as well. It just looked like a very blended out orange. Okay, and then you yeah, peel me, which is the deeper brown, which I guess we've all like kind of decided we need a little bit. Because like the yellow palette, I heard so many people complain about the yellow palette, saying it didn't really have enough depth to it, which I kind of agree with too. You know, it was so hard to like deepen that out, but also I'm thinking maybe they just thought, hey, you should have another palette to work with it, so I guess I see why they left it out too. You know, you don't really have to have that shade, like everyone has that shade in a million other things, so I get why. 
Okay, I think I have enough matches on there. So there's two shimmers. There's Squeeze Me and Tangerine Dreams and then Clementine, which is a glitter, a pressed glitter. I kind of hate how they're putting pressed glitters in everything. To be honest, it kind of feels like a little bit of a cop-out on ColourPop's part because they don't really need... They could just put an eyeshadow, like, if somebody wants a pressed glitter, they can make it a single so people can buy that separately because they're not even eye safe. So, like, the fact that it's taking up room in an eyeshadow palette is kind of irritating to me. Um, it just feels like a cop-out on their part that they can't put together, like, a nine-pin, you know, palette just of eyeshadows. They could have done duochromes. They could like slow down and throw in a multi-chrome that would be nice like why do they if they can't think of like a color to add why do they just keep coming out with palettes and then throwing in you know a pressed glitter like i don't get that so i'm just putting squeeze me in like the inner half of my lid that's a very like true like tangerine kind of color and then i want to go into tangerine dreams which is the other shimmer and I'm just gonna put that in the outer half on my skin tone I really don't think you can see a difference in the shades they just look like oranges to me I don't know I really don't think you can see any difference I could have just put the same color on both sides of my lid and you guys wouldn't have known any different I still like my favorite nine pan palette is the purple palette. I think that one was the most fun and vibrant. I don't really love these like orange, the yellow. I was like, okay. So there's a little bit of fallout on the inner portion, but I want to throw in the pressed glitter on the inner corner. But first I want to do the lower lash line. So one second. Just using this Wayne Goss brush and then I'm just going to go in with a black eyeliner for under in my waterline um, just because it's easiest. I don't know why my eyes are tearing up. <laughs> Actually, it might be because I ate spicy food today. And my I tried to wash my hands, but I think my fingers are still spicy. So I'm going in with this flat shader brush because it still has a lot of shadow on it. And I'm just going to... Oh, nope, can't do it. I was going to try and smudge with it, but I can't do it. Uh, so I'm just going to go in with the Sigma blending brush. This is a small E42 blender. I'm going to go into the shade Mimosa Miami, which is like the hot coral. I really like this shade. Okay, and then let's do Take a Peel. Just to give it some depth. And then I want to go into this little highlight by Manny. This is E10 by ColourPop. And I'm just going to place some highlighter on the inner corner. And then I'm going to grab... I think I'm going to go in with this one and grab some of the... These shimmers are huge. You really want to be careful with these guys. And I'm just placing that on the, the glitter on the inner corner. Just when I like turn my head, you guys can see a little tiny sparkle. Okay, now I'm getting glitter happy and putting it in a little bit into my lower lash line as well. So I'm just going to put some mascara on and I will be right back. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I do feel like I'm a little bit underwhelmed by the eyeshadows, so I did grab my JD Glow palette. This is kind of like my peaches and goals from that palette, so I kind of wanted to amp this look up a bit, and so I thought it would be fun if I played with some of these new peaches I got. And so I'm just gonna pop that on the lid because I love a good shimmer and I'm like so not impressed do you guys see the difference 
in the ColourPop ones. This is so hard to do because I put mascara on. So I feel like this color scheme is so basic. Like, you know, when they were doing the monochromatics and they were doing like an all purple or an all blue, they were really pioneering that stuff. But now it's like, you know, an orange palette. Like, they should be killing an orange palette. Not just like making it like super basic. So like, even if it took them longer, I would have rather they put in like really shimmery, like pigmented shades instead of just like, oh here, take this kind of basic color story and have fun with it. So I think the JD Glow helped and now I wanna pick out a lip color. So I had picked up an orange lippy from ColourPop. I wanted it to be my summer shade and of course I haven't worn it yet. So let me see if I can find it. Found it, here it is. <laughs> so this is the shade Bugaboo. ColourPop loopies are so affordable. I like I like gravitate towards them so, so much because if there's like a, kind of like a trendy color, like this orange, that's like very much a sh summer shade. Like I won't wear this every day. I won't wear this to work, but it's a color I want to try out. I'll go for something like ColourPop or Morphe because it's affordable and if I don't like it, then I won't feel as bad as if I spent like 20 plus dollars. So this is the shade Bugaboo. And yeah, it's almost dry. It's still a little bit wet, but I think they've redone their matte liquid lipstick. So if you haven't tried them in a while, do try them out. I personally have always kind of been okay with them. They're not too drying for me. I love matte liquid lipsticks. So yeah, just an affordable formula. So now I'm truly done messing with this look. So yeah, I'm gonna zoom you guys out so we can try out the Soul Body Shimmer and then I'll give you my final thoughts on everything. Okay guys, so I zoomed you out a little bit because I wanted to try out the Soul Body Shimmering Dry Oil and I bought this little brush because I thought this would be helpful with putting on a product like this. I've definitely struggled with the, uh, you know, messing up my hands and stuff like that. So I love that brush. It seems like it's good quality. And then this is the body oil. So it says it's a shimmering dry oil. What it is a luxe lightweight dry oil with next level multi-dimensional shimmer infused with coconut, argan, and marula oils for glistening. Good for your glow. Leave skin drenched in an addictive tropical coconut aroma. Shake well. Massage into skin using fingertips or buff into skin using brush. Apply liberally to highlight your highlighter. Ooh, this is so pretty to look at. I think we could all be here all day and just play with this. So I'm just going to go... Should I go on the shoulder? This is scary. Oh, frick. That came out fast. Oh, that smells good. Holy fuck. The brush is nice. It's soft. Wow. Oh, gosh. This smells good. Okay. I look really glowy anyway under these lights. Um, do you see this highlighter? <laughs> This smells good though. I'm going on like a few trips this fall and I got a wedding in September in Arizona which I'm assuming is going to be hot and sunny. Um, so I think, oh yeah, this is going to be nice. This is easy to use. I like that I bought the brush because that's like my thing I hate the most about like oils and stuff is like I'm a lazy motherfucker and like using my hands to apply things is like really annoying to me. I wish I had like a more collarbone-y shirt on. I could have tried it on my collarbone but ooh you see those shoulders they're so dewy and glowy so so far, the five seconds I've had it on, I really like the smell. It's very coconutty. This is a glass bottle which I did not expect so you kind of want to be careful with travel. This is the shade Warm Glow and made in the USA, distributed by Soul Body. Smells really good. Oh my gosh, smells so good. I love this packaging. It's giving me like KKW vibes with all the nudes and such. 
Um, and this is three fluid ounces, so you get a ton of product. And I think it's 15 bucks for that. And then the Kabuki brush is vegan and cruelty free. And this was $12. Honestly, probably like the best $12 I've spent because again, like I said, I hate touching oils and like lotions and like smearing it on my body. So I'm so happy with the brush. So that's my 10 second review on that. And as far as the Orange You Glad palette goes, I'm actually not very glad that I bought this palette. Honestly, like I had mentioned kind of when I was doing my eyeshadow look, I feel like their hits were like the original palettes when they did the purple palette. That was That's my favorite nine pan eyeshadow palette. I like the neutral one they did with, it was a collaboration with Karuchi, I think, um, the brown sugar. I really like that palette. But some of the newer ones have been such misses for me. Like the yellow palette I thought was so blah. And this one too, I'm like, eh, yeah, it's cute. Like it's an orange palette, but I don't see myself like going back to that. So if you've been on the fence, I wouldn't get this one. Like the yellow one, I was always already kind of like meh by. And the orange one now I'm even extra disappointed because I feel like orange and especially orange, I feel like has been done so many times. Like all the warm palettes are basically different versions of orange. Even their Soul palette from, was it last summer? Was mostly like a coral orange palette. So this one, it's just like, mm. and then the shimmers are so blah. Like they're very powdery and not that great. Um, whereas I remember the purple palette, those shimmers go on like butter. So I definitely feel like there is a difference and it kind of bothers me because they're cranking these palettes out, which I don't mind. Like that's great. If ColourPop's going to release something every week, whatever, more power to them. But then I want you to now take it to the next level. Like if you're so good at producing something on a weekly basis, that's fine. But now what are you doing to stand out next? Like everyone can put out a product but are you still delivering that awesome quality is your product still creative like i don't want to have eight different ColourPop palettes to achieve some like you know awesome eye look i want every single one to be just as good as the previous one and now i feel like i'm like eh, not really also it just could be that this isn't my color vibe which is not really true because i do love warm eyeshadow palettes so I don't know. I feel very disappointed by this. Um, I, it could be makeup fatigue, but I feel like personally they should have done something more interesting. Like, I don't think they should have had the pressed glitter in there. I feel like if they want to do pressed glitters with a collection, release them as single shadows because people can then buy them if they want to. But it's like, it's almost like not so creative if all you're doing is throwing in a pressed glitter. Like, we get it. Like, some people like them, but I don't feel like the majority likes them enough where they should be in every nine pan palette because you're only getting nine pans. Like, I don't think you should reserve one of the pans as a glitter. I would have rather had it be a high shine shimmer like these JD Glow ones. Like, I don't know if you guys have never like seen these in person. They're so crazy cool and just like duochromes, multi-chromes, pigmented, easy to blend. So... I don't know. I just feel like everyone's kind of collecting them for the hype because it's so fun to be like, ooh, orange, blue, pink, like, la, 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 and have a stack of them. But I don't know. I feel like they're getting like less and less creative. So hopefully they'll take like a pause and do some cooler things with their next palettes. I don't want to see another kind of like sloppy is what I would say. Hopefully I wasn't too harsh. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I don't think you guys will see this palette on my channel again, honestly, because there's other things I'd like to move on to. If you have like a burning desire to see me play with it again, let me know down in the comments. But otherwise, I'm definitely moving on. Thank you guys for checking out this video and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys.